What's up, YouTube? My name is Nico. Uh, my YouTube channel is YGO Pro Tips. I want to make an introduction video uh, to give you guys a deck profile of what I play uh, either locally or at regionals uh, currently. You know, the meta's about to change. We're about to get uh, the Zodiacs and all the other uh, broken stuff that's coming out here real soon. But uh, this is what I play right now. Um, and I also wanted to just give you kind of an introduction on what I'm trying to bring to, to my channel. Uh, and the YouTube in general, just in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh content. Um, I wanted a channel that, you know, kind of expresses more of the competitive scene or uh, I, I feel like not a lot of people uh, are really shown the the right image of, uh, you know, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh um, as, as far as uh, the Yu-Gi-Tubers go. Um, you know, I, I, I play the game very competitive. Uh, I play in almost all the events, I travel a lot, um, and a lot of my testing, you know, I, I actually want to show, you know, upload some videos of uh, uh, how I test and, uh, um, you know, what goes into that, uh, just so you, you all can get better. Like, that, the, the goal of my channel is to make the, the entire Yu-Gi-Oh! group community better, um, and it, it kind of starts with... Uh, the the better players uh, coaching the little guys on how to how to you know become stronger I guess you'd say um, but mm, we'll get more into that in my later videos I suppose uh, I just want to show you guys this is beautiful deck Light Sworn with a Minerva um, you know I play the Photon Thrasher uh, Lila three Raiden uh, three Wolf which is generic three Ten Goldfish double Maxi uh, two Gigabyte, two Fairy Tale Snow, one Trick Clown, and two of this Gym Knight, uh, Gym Knight Iolite. Uh, if you read his stats, he's he's kind of weaker than than uh, Garnet, but I play him for a reason, um, mainly just because he's Aqua and my deck uh, makes Toad a lot. Uh, so you can, if he's if you ever have a dead Gym Knight in your hand, the least you can do is use it to negate something, which I think is really good. Every time he's in my hand, I don't, I don't, I don't see it as a bad thing. You know, Garnet kind of looks bad in your hand, but this guy, he's, he's at least a little cooler looking. He doesn't really do anything aside from that, but uh, just because he's Aqua. Then onto the spells, and I play one trap. Uh, you know, Soul Recharge, Charlotte, Charge of Light Brigade. Uh, I hope this card goes to three. Uh, triple Brilliant Fusion, uh, Triple Instant Fusion, uh, Triple XC Change Tactics, because uh, one of my favorite cards is probably Utopia, uh, at least to play right now. Um, Pot of Desires, uh, Double Rank Up Argent, uh, Chaos Force, mainly to make uh, Utopic Zexel, uh, the one Foolish Barrel, the one Soul Charge, the one Rota, and then the one Phantom Knight, uh, Shade Brigadine, because uh, the main goal is to bust out Rank 4 is either Minerva or uh, Utopia cards. Um, and then I'll get to the extra deck, because I play the one of Minerva, because I, I only invested in one, I only feel like you need one currently, at least. Uh, one side frame Lord Omega, um, nice little German, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, uh, Bujin T Amaterasu to recycle my maxis, but you know, if I banish him with snow, uh, Dagusto Emerald, Tsukiyomi, uh, two Utopia, uh, one Utopia Prime, and one Lightning for the Exceed Change Tactics draw. Uh, you know, I can draw up to five, one, two, three, four, four cards. Um, I used to play two prime, that's why I thought it was five, but yeah, so I could draw four cards with that. Uh, and the one you told me exactly what I feel like is one of the best cards in the game. Kind of right now is overshadowed by, by Toad, um, but I do play the Toad package. Uh, so with this deck, my openings can be really strong. I either Zexel to lock you out of the game, um, or summon Toad to, uh, you know, negate something, or summon Omega, or just bust out a lot of rank fours that, that give me advantage. And then the two fusions, Gym Knight, Seraph Knight, and uh, Norton. And for those of you that don't know what Utopic Zexel does, I'll kind of put him up there so you can read him. Alright. Uh, I feel like, I really feel like he's one of the best cards in the game. Uh, if your deck can make rank fours, I suggest you put him in your extra deck. Uh, but that's my deck. Uh, my name is Nico. You're watching my Geo Pro Tips, and I, I hope to bring you more content soon. So, you can just wait for that.